Okay, that should be illegal. Jeez. So what's up guys, it's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be talking about the atomizer strikes and how you can actually get one very easily. But just before we get into that, I'd like you to go and check the links in the description to some of these channels of like some new friends I've just made from the Vital Clan. They're really friendly people and I feel like they deserve your subscriptions because they've just been really supportive and nice to me ever since I've like met them. So yeah, that would be really awesome of you to go and show them some love. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and drop a like on this video because I'd really appreciate that and uh, yeah, let's get into the video guys. Okay, so we're talking about the atomizer strikes and uh, they're probably one of the biggest things you can do in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, mainly just because it makes you feel like a badass dropping it on some kids that were trash talking before the game and then making them cry and thinking you're a hacker. I hope you guys know what I'm on about. Anyways, I'm getting a bit carried away. Uh, what you're probably here to find out is how you can actually go and get your de atomizer strike to drop on these kids that are trash talking and uh, these tips are definitely going to help you because uh, they helped me. Okay, so arguably the most important thing is the setup. You need a gun which has the nuclear variant. Uh, I suggest the MV4 Fallout as it's actually like a laser beam. The gun does not move, doesn't need foregrip. Very good with a silencer, which is a point I'm going to make later. And uh, yeah, I think it's probably the best nuclear variant and you're going to have a much easier time getting a nuke with that gun more than anything. Okay, so with this gun, you're going to be wanting to run it with like a silencer, quick draw and extended mags, just so you can stay off the radar with the suppressor. Uh, no muzzle flash, which makes it easier to aim and pick off people from longer ranges. Uh, the quick draw obviously allows you to ADS quicker and the extended mags just ensures you don't run out of ammo if you're in like a tight gunfight and you have the edge over someone else. Okay, so the perks I suggest using with this gun is Ghost, Scavenger, Hardline and Dead Silence and there's a pretty good reasoning behind all of these perks. Uh, starting with Ghost, Ghost keeps you off the radar as you probably already know and uh, if the enemies have a UAV they're going to be like rushing around these like looking for these red dots and you're not going to appear there so you can actually like be pretty off put into them and you can catch them out in most gunfights um, the scavenger is so you don't run out of ammo hardline is so you can get your streaks quicker which I'm going to talk to you about later uh, dead silence is so your jetpack thrusters and your footsteps are silent so the enemies can't actually hear you but you might be able to hear them and yeah you have more chance of winning a gunfight. Now for me streaks is actually kind of a tough one because you can actually just rock the normal UAV and just keep stacking that over because with hardline that's just four kills between each UAV because uh, each hardline kill on TDM gives you 125 points and a UAV is 500 points I believe so four of them and you have a UAV you keep doing that you have like constant UAVs throughout the game making it a bit easier for you but um, you could put on advanced UAV and if you do that I suggest also putting on counter UAV because you know it's not really going to change anything um, but yeah that's down to preference and what you're comfortable with. Another thing which definitely helped me was playing TDM whether it's core TDM or hardcore TDM whichever like preference of style you prefer I definitely suggest TDM and the reasoning behind that is because that's where most of these casual players go to and we're talking like the 0.3 KD players uh, you'll notice there's like 40% of the players in those playlists and uh, you're going to have much more of a fun time getting these streaks because they're, let's be honest, they're generally a lot easier. You're going to like meet the odd really good player every now and then, but that doesn't stop you from lobby surfing. But my like the point I'm trying to make is that TDM has easier lobbies and you're going to get the nuke a lot quicker. And last but not least, guys, patience. Believe it or not, patience is one of the most important things when going for these nukes. And I'm talking about it can take you a week, it can take you two weeks, it can take you a day, it can take you an hour. It depends on the skill level of players and uh, the luck you get with the lobbies. Um, but when you are playing, guys, you don't need to rush mid-map all the time. Even if you see there's like four enemies there, don't challenge it. You need to play smart, you need to be patient, you need to stick to the edges of the maps. Use your class for what it's good for. If you're using a silencer, you're meant to be going around the edges of the map, keeping quiet, picking off the enemies one by one, and that way you're going to stay alive a lot longer, and it's going to be much easier for you to get your 25 kill streak, guys. And that's not a joke. I'm not exaggerating that. Yes, you can go into the middle of the map and get like five kills if you're lucky, but you'll notice that you'll just die because there's just so many areas where the enemies can come and kill you from, and it's just such a hectic part. So you just want to be one of them guys which sticks around the edge of the maps 
and uh, picks them off one by one because you're going to notice like good results and you're going to get that nuke a lot quicker. If you guys find any of these tips helpful, please leave a like on the video, comment down below whether you've got a nuke or not and uh, just comment on what you think of the video, add anything if you think anything's missing, uh, criticise me if you think my video's bad, whatever you guys want, uh, just make it constructive and everything. Uh, don't forget to drop a like as well and also check out the channels I suggested earlier because I'd really appreciate that guys and uh, I hope you all have a very nice day, a happy new year because it's the 31st of December here so I probably won't make another video then. So yeah, I hope you have a happy new year and I'll see you guys later. Peace.